Hi, it's Tincture Tuesday again. Um, this week I want to talk a little bit about my uh, wild cherry bark whorehound tincture. Um, wild cherry, and I, I bet this is, yeah, it's probably going to show up backwards. Sorry, I wonder how to change that. I have no idea. Anyway, um, wild cherry bark and whorehound are two herbs that are very well known um, if you have cough, a cough. Um, as a matter of fact, I remember being a kid and mom's medicine was always, ugh, it was always nasty taken, tasting. And I'm sure that something for cough was probably whorehound. Um, they used to have whorehound lozenges. And as a matter of fact, I was going to, um, do a video on how to make whorehound lozenges, um, here soon, I hope. Anyway, um, but I remember when, um medicine was got delicious it just started to become candy almost um with luden's uh cherry cough drops um well that's only if you have a little tickle but it's not going to do anything to help you with your cough the luden's but it sure tastes good um this is you know the wild cherry bark wild cherry it's well known whorehounds well known anyway the way we take this when we have a cough um, this isn't something that you take every day, needless to say, but if you have, you know, a little coughing with your cold or some nagging coughing, um, bronchitis, I've had people buy this for bronchitis and use it and it helps very well with that. Um, but if you have a cough, the way I suggest you take this is, um, have a, uh, pour a cup of boiling water in your cup. Um, and of course it's got to be pretty and then add a half a teaspoon of this tincture shake it first okay and then ha add a half a teaspoon um quarter to a half i mean you could you could a quarter for a kid probably um and then add some honey and sip it and it helps to relieve that coughing okay all right so this is the wild cherry bar corehound tincture um for coughs okay thanks see you next time